Hello everyone. So today we are going to learn about percentage cell inhibition and how to find percentage cell inhibition using Excel. Okay. So before starting we need to know what is percentage cell inhibition. Percentage cell inhibition is actually calculated when we do some cytotoxic assays like MTT. Okay. So what is cytotoxic assay? In that assay, we find the eff effectiveness of the drug on a sample. For example, bacterial cell sample or mammalian cell sample or cancer cells. Okay. So when we want to see the efficacy of that particular drug on that cells, we need to find out this percentage cell inhibition. So this will show us how much toxic is the drug towards that cell. Okay. So this percentage cell inhibition has a formula which is control OD minus sample OD divided by control OD into 100. So this is the formula of percentage cell inhibition and it will give us different percentage of the cells that are getting inhibited in the different concentrations of the drug. Okay. So this will become more clear when we come to this example. So here you can see this is the drug concentration which has been used for the experiment. Uh, the concentrations are 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100. And these are the OD values. Okay, so this is R1, replica 1, replica 2, replica 3. Okay, so in order to get an average estimated value of the experiment you are doing, you need to repeat your experiment at least 3 times. Okay, so here we have repeated this 3 times and the OD values are as follows. Okay, so first what we need to do is we have to find the average. So to find the average, here we put an equal to mark here first, then we search for average function, then we select these three cells and press an enter. So this will give the average of this control, zero is the control, okay. So what we do, we just drag this one till the last concentration and it will give us separate average values of this separate concentrations right so now this average is the final od which will be used in finding the percentage cell inhibition here okay so here you can see there's a concentration this is control 20 40 60 18 100 okay so here in this final od position we'll just paste these average values here okay so i'll just simply copy it and paste the values over here okay so now i have divided this formula into three columns okay so the first one is control od minus sample od like this one second is the control od minus sample od divided by control od and the third column is the whole thing is multiplied by 100 to find the percentage okay so how to find control od minus sample od will come here so since this is the control there is a no need to find for control value so we'll start from 20 we put an equal to mark control od is this one minus the sample od okay so this is the value of this 20 okay so we'll do it separately for all the concentrations control od minus sample od Okay, so in this way, we find the control OD and the sample OD. Now, in the second column, what we do, we'll divide this one by control OD. Okay, so equal to, then select the cell divided by, this is control OD. Enter. So, do this for all the concentration. Okay, so we get these values like this. Now the third one is we'll divide, we'll multiply, sorry, we'll multiply this one by 100 to find the percentage. So what we do, put equal to, do not forget, 
to put an equal to before you start calculating okay so equal to then you select the cell multiplied by 100 okay so it will give you the value now what we do we just drag it down to the last concentration and this is how you get the percentage cell inhibition so this last column is the final percentage cell inhibition of this concentration okay so now i'll just give it a color so that it will be clearly visible okay so suppose you need so this is how you find the percentage cell inhibition of this data now suppose you want to make the graph out of it so what you do you select this concentration column and this percentage cell inhibition column okay now you go to this insert go to 2d column select the first one so this is what you get now this is a different type of chart where the x axis contains 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so we need to change it so what you do you go to the change chart type click on it is the column to so select the second one press okay okay so now this will give you the proper graph that you require okay now you can modify your graph according to you i'll put it here so let us change the graph a bit you can add the axis titles from here put both primary and vertically you can remove the legend here and add the legend at the right side okay so here i'm not adding the legend so i will just write it down okay now you change you can also change these values in x axis and y axis i'm just clearing out the outline for better visualization okay so what is this y axis so y axis is the percentage cell inhibition so i'll just write it down okay so this is the percentage cell inhibition and what is the x axis x axis is the concentration of the drug in write down the unit so here we have used mg per ml so i'll write it down concentration of the drug in mg per ml okay i'll just change the color into black and bold it for better visualization now here you can change the title of this graph i will write it effect of drug a let the name of the drug be a on some bacteria suppose this this is done on bacillus subtilis bacteria so i'll write it down bacillus subtilis Okay, so you can write on. I'm writing it against. Okay, so this is how you make the graph of the percentage cell inhibition. Hope you understood the video. If you have any queries regarding this, or if you want to learn how this. Uh, error marks or standard deviation marks are put on these bars feel free to comment it and we'll make it in our another video okay so hope you understood this whole process